clothing dryer spin at 51.6 revolution per minute. If the radius of the dryer drum is 30.5 cm, we want to find the period T and the frequency F of the motion. Then how fast is the outer edge of the drum you're moving? So we want to find the linear velocity and then the radial accelerations of a point on the outer rim of this disc. So radial accelerations refer to centripetal acceleration AC. So we are given that how fast is the driver spin. So we are given the angular velocity of the dryers is 51.6 revolution per minute in reading one minute so this is not the si unit rpm is not a si unit so we have to change it to radian per second so so class we know that one revolution is equivalent to two pi radians and one minute is equivalent to 60 seconds so we can do the unit convergence so the omega will be 51.6 multiplied 2 pi divided by 1 minute is 60 second so you may pause the video to do the calculations so 51.6 times 2 pi divided by 60 so we will get is around 5.40 radian per second so question a we want to find the period t in second so the period t can relate with the angular velocity whereby omega is 2 pi over t so we arrange we can calculate the t so the t will be 2 pi over omega so we are going to have 2 pi divided by 5.40 so you may pause the video again to do the calculations. We get 1.16. So we are going to have the period is 1.163 second. Okay. Then we want to find the frequency. So frequency can be read with period. So frequency is 1 over t. So we are going to have 1 over 1.163. So I'm so we are going to have the frequency will be 1 divided by 1.163. So we will get the frequency is 0 0.86 hertz. Okay, so we solve question A. For question B, calculate how fast is the outer edge of the drum we are moving. So we understood that. We are going to have the tangential velocity which is perpendicular to the circular path. So we want to find what is the velocity at the outer edge of the drums. Okay, so, so for question B, to calculate how fast is the outer edge of the drum moving, so we have V equal to R omega. So the radius, the radius of the drum is given. The radius is 30.5 cm. So we change it to meter, 30.5 centimeter means times 10 negative 2 meter. So multiplied with the angular velocity is 5.4. So we are going to get 5.4. We are going to have the velocity will be 1.65 meter per second. Okay. Then question C, question C, we want to find the radial accelerations of a point on the outer edge of the disc. So the radial accelerations is referred to centripetal accelerations. So refer to the equation for centripetal accelerations, AC will be omega squared, sorry, R omega squared. So we are going to take the radius 30.5 to the power of negative 2 multiplied with the angular velocity 5.4 to the power of 2. So you may post the video to do the calculation, then you will get your AC will be around 8.89 meter per second squared. 